Do not buy this stuff. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now today's video is going to be a fairly short one, but an extremely, extremely important one. This video is actually almost more like a public service announcement directed to those who are new to silver stacking or young numismatists or anybody that just has not had a ton of experience buying and selling gold and silver bullion as well as coins. This is for you guys. Now, what I have over here is a bunch of packages that I ordered off the internet that I know for a fact to be filled with fake coins. Yes, that's right. I bought a bunch of fake numismatic coins as well as total forgery bullion pieces. None of this stuff is real and I bought that knowingly. But I bought it specifically to make a series of videos to help protect you guys in the silver stacking and numismatic communities from making very, very dangerous and potentially costly mistakes. So let's crack these packages open and then we can discuss a little bit more about where I got these, how much they cost, and how you guys can avoid making these serious mistakes. All right. So start over here. I open these up just to speed things up a little bit. But this is an American Silver Eagle, and this one looks absolutely fake, in my opinion. I mean, the luster is totally off, it's way too shiny, and the weight doesn't feel quite right. But, to a novice, this definitely, definitely could fool many, many people that I know. Okay, over here. Ah, yes. Here we have a one ounce, a one tri ounce Engelhard 999 fine silver bar in a little collectible case. Definitely looks and feels real. That I can tell you. This one, ah, another bullion piece. This is a gold Krugerand, a 1978 gold Krugerand. And I personally haven't had that much experience with these gold Krugerands. I have only even felt in my own hands uh, a handful of them. So this one would be particularly dangerous for someone who is not familiar because it looks pretty real. The weight feels a little bit light, but not enough to really bring any serious alarm bells if uh, you just saw this in passing. Okay, over here. All right, we got a couple of coins in this one. Let's see what do we have? All right, we've got a Walking Liberty half dollar from 1919. Now, this is incredibly lusterful, and uh, you know, there's definitely something that looks a little bit off here, but again, it's an incredible, quote unquote, incredible condition and could easily fool many, many coin collectors. Wow, this one, this Benji over here is definitely, definitely dangerous because look at that, it even has the fake toning on it. This is something that I would say out of all these so far that would most likely trick me if I saw this buried within another collection. Like a whole bunch of different coins all together, I might not notice that this one is fake. Although feeling it, the edges, the rim is actually kind of sharp. So you can feel that it was not an original coin and that this was pressed on some kind of uh, aftermarket counterfeit die. But in any case, it, this one looks really, really authentic. First of all, if this, be honest, if this coin would have tricked you or any of these coins would have tricked you, do me a favor, smash that like button. I mean, seriously, just to get this video promoted a little bit more, hit the like button, share it, leave a comment. It'll help me out a lot and it will get this video out to more and more people and help them avoid making very, very dangerous and costly errors. Next one, ah, this one I remember ordering and was very excited to see because this is a peace dollar, of course, but if you look at the date, it is the 1965, almost mythological version of this coin. This coin, of course, as we all know, was minted until 1935, but then later on it was resurrected in 1965 to be reminted. However, all known versions of that 1965 coin were said to have been destroyed. And so far, not a single one has been recovered in the wild. So if you were to see this, you should know very, very well that it is indeed a forgery, or you're looking at probably one of the most priceless coins in the world. So this is something that would be very unlikely to trick somebody, especially because it's got like little burrs on the edge where it has not been sanded properly. So this one's pretty, pretty easy to tell that it's fake. And the last package, 
Last package has two silver dollars. One is this early 1804 silver dollar. And the other is this 1888 Carson City Morgan dollar. Now, I will say that I would probably uh, not get tricked by this, but this one is a really, really, really good fake. I mean, it feels right. It's got the right amount of dirt and luster and wear. It's really good. This is a really, really good fake. So take a look. Take a look. This is what we have here. We have a bunch of fake coins that, to the untrained eye, look really, really legitimate. Now, for someone like me, you guys know that I have been dealing with coins, bullion, and other numismatic products for a long time. I have literally had thousands upon thousands of coins, junk silver and numismatic, and thousands and thousands of ounces of silver, bullion, and even gold bullion passed through my hands over the last few years. So I really, really am familiar with what a real, authentic bullion coin or real, authentic uh, numismatic coin looks feels, sounds, and even smells like. That's right, even the smell of a legitimate coin has some specific nuances to it. Like I said, for me, as somebody who's been dealing with this a long time, I'm much less likely to be fooled by this stuff. But if you're a young or new numismatist, you may find these coins in the wild or online and be tricked by them, and that is something that I want to try and prevent. So, first of all, let's talk about where I got these. I ordered all of these coins from a website called Wish.com. Wish.com is a Chinese e-commerce platform where people sell all sorts of different products, and there has been a multitude of different areas where forgeries and fakes have popped up on this website, namely in collectible card games, so magic cards, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, etc. People have been forging those and putting those up on, on Wish.com to sell, and of course, in the numismatic and bullion and silver stacking world, we have what we have here, which are these fake coins. Now, these are not your granddaddy's fakes. These are incredibly detailed and well done forgeries. Every single one of these, overall, even though some are better than others, are incredibly detailed. I mean, take a look at this. Again, we'll go back to this one. This looks like an authentic Morgan Silver Dollar. If I showed you this on a video, none of you would be saying, ah, that looks like a fake, that thing's not real. And that is the danger. So, first of all, Wish.com has no authentic coins. Do not buy them, period. That is the warning here. Do not buy any coins off of Wish.com. Nothing. This was only bought specifically to share with you guys to prevent you guys from making serious errors. But you should not buy anything from there for two reasons. One is that you're wasting your money. It's worthless. Even though these only cost about $2 a piece, they're all fake and they're worth exactly $0 and, wait for it, zero cents. Now, that is the smaller issue. You know, you spend $2 and you get yourself a little what amounts to a souvenir coin, not a big deal. But why is it a bigger deal for the numismatic community? And that is because these coins will make their way into other people's collections who did not buy them from Wish.com, whether they inherit them, whether they find them, whether they buy them, whether they're traded, whatever it is, these coins will make their way into people's authentic coin collections. And when it comes time to sell, they are either going to sell the coin to an unsuspecting person and essentially rip them off, or they're going to get ripped off themselves because they will have bought the coin for a lot of money, and then when they try and sell it, it's discovered that it's fake, and they cannot recoup their losses. It is a very, very big problem in the coin world that so many fakes have infiltrated into people's authentic, good-intentioned collections. So I think you guys have got the point, right? Do not buy coins from Wish.com. Or, more generally, if you cannot physically touch and feel and see the coins that you're about to buy online, and the deal seems way, way, way too good to be true, well, that's probably because it is too good to be true, and that they're fakes, so do not buy them. I mean, it's basically just common sense. If a coin is worth $1,000 and you see it listed online for $1.50 including shipping, it's probably fake. But, as you can see, 
These coins look really, really good. So sometimes common sense is not enough and you need to know the specific methods, strategies, and tactics to detect fake and forged coins. And that is why I bought these because I'm going to be doing a series over the next few months of videos that show you just that, all the different ways to scientifically test these coins and determine whether they are fake or real and save you guys a ton of money and a ton of headaches down the line. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something and I hope you stay tuned for the next one. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. As you can see, I've been putting in a lot more effort and spending a lot more money, frankly, on the different things in my videos. So if you want to help support the channel, I would be eminently grateful and there are three ways you can do that. One is you can buy some Silver Picker merch. Check it out in the links below. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming out, whether it's t-shirts, coffee mugs, all sorts of cool stuff, and I think you're really gonna like it. Or you can buy any of your silver picking, picking, thrifting, or coin collecting supplies through my Amazon links below. In fact, if you buy anything through those Amazon links, I will get credit and it won't cost you a dime extra. And then finally, if you wanna send me some channel mail to open up on the channel for everyone to see, you can send me a letter, a package, whatever you want to PO Box 1322, Bronx, New York 10471. And I will also respond with a handwritten limited edition postcard designed by me to anybody that sends me channel mail. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. There's a lot more really, really cool stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned and until next time, Silver Picker out.